the interesting thing about an electric plane. Every aviation revolution has been enabled by advancements in propulsion technologies. Flying cars, electric multi-copters, airborne taxis. Once unthinkable science fiction, now emerging realities. EVTOL stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. By 2040, its market valuation is anticipated to be $1 trillion. It is an expanding sector, allowing humans to travel further, faster, and easier, all in the air. EVTOL is taking off, literally. From Joby to Jetson, Archer to Airbus, EVTOL is making waves in the innovative automotive space fighting over quality and quantity, sales and status. Modern mobility players are fiercely competing to propel us into an eco-friendly, tech-led electric future. And in this video, we cover some eVTOL companies and aircrafts to watch out for in the race to revolutionize travel. First though, let's delve deeper into the sector. Battery technology, material science and electric motors. They've all made electric aircraft way, way more viable. EVTOLs vary depending on the infrastructure method. One method is tilt thrust. Propellers change position by providing all the lift needed to get the aircraft aloft to a forward-facing position. This generates propulsion. Another is lift and cruise. This way, several propellers provide lift like a helicopter. A second fixed motor provides forward propulsion. Then there is the multi-rotor system. Multiple fixed rotors give upward lift and forward thrust by tilting the EV forward. You know those annoying DJI drones flying around your house? They operate this way. Despite the takeoff in infrastructure, the infrastructure for landing is a big challenge. Existing heliports could be the answer, but they will require charging stations. Meanwhile, many companies are working hard on finding urban spaces to create vertiports. Developments have been made though. Archer Aviation and Reef Technology are converting underutilized parking garages into vertiports, whilst PS and S are attempting to launch landing pads and charging stations in urban and suburban environments. Another hurdle is regulations. Aircraft manufacturers need to prove to government agencies like the Civil Aviation Authority that their aircrafts are extremely safe. Plus, what even are EVTOLs? Helicopters, planes, cars, taxis? Hmm. I know it's difficult to say. Well, regulations are based on vehicle models that were certified in the past, so there are no existing regulations to standardize the implementation of these aircrafts. This is a huge challenge. However, being a government agency, NASA's presence in the sector could speed up regulatory approval. For example, in March 2021, Joby Aviation agreed G1 certification conditions with the Federal Aviation Administration. Funnily enough, Joby Aviation is working closely with you guessed it, NASA. Safety is another huge obstacle. In 2019, Deloitte polled 10,000 people regarding urban air mobility. 80% of the participants believed aircrafts will not be safe or are uncertain about their safety. Shaping consumer interest and attitudes is a massive challenge. Despite these concerns, Deloitte forecasts the intracity eVTOL passenger market to grow from 1 billion US dollars in 2025 to 13.8 billion dollars by 2040. Key players anticipate this growth too, like Tesla founder Elon Musk, who sees the arrival of electric aircraft in 5 years time. When asked about electric planes on Twitter, Musk tweeted, "Yes, but they are a bit too limited in range." But that will change in coming years as battery energy density improves. When he revealed that he had a design for an electric VTOL aircraft, Musk estimated that Li-ion batteries would need to achieve 400 watt-hour kg energy density in order for batteries to beat kerosene, and for his electric aircraft to be viable. Today, battery cells with high cycles are achieving about 300 watt-hours kg of energy density. As well as Musk and his companies, many others are entering the field of EV tolls to revolutionize the way we travel. And here are some companies and models that you should watch out for. First up is Jetson Aero. A Swedish startup whose aim is to make everyone a pilot. Finishing their first prototype in spring 2018 brought them to Jetson 1. Production was completed and testing started in spring 2020. Making waves across the internet with 14 million views, it commercially launched in October 2021. 
its entire 2022 production sold out. With high demand, the Jetson 1 had 3,000 purchase requests in just two months. Maybe consumer interest is growing, priced at a cheap $92,000. It has eight electric motors, a race car-inspired space frame, and a high-discharge Li-ion battery. Crucially, safety is the priority with a carbon Kevlar bucket seat, safety harness, and ballistic parachute to be deployed as a last resort. It fits one pilot who cannot weigh more than 95 kg, or 210 pounds. The Jetson 1 has a flight time of 20 minutes and reaches speeds of up to 63 miles an hour, or 102 kilometers an hour. Slightly faster at cruise speeds of up to 74 miles per hour, or 120 kilometers an hour, is the City Airbus next-gen aircraft by Airbus. Founded in 1970, Airbus is a European powerhouse who believes the future of aerospace is autonomous and zero emission. This model is a four-seat multi-copter with a range of 80 kilometers. Intended to improve human commute, its design entails a fixed wing, a V-shaped tail, and eight electric-powered propellers as part of its uniquely designed distributed propulsion system. Entering its detailed design phase last year, the City Airbus NextGen's first flight is planned for 2023. Five years after the City Airbus NextGen first flight is expected, industry experts expect certification for Whisk Air's taxi model by 2028. Whisk has not given a timeline. In 2017, Whisk became the first company in the US to successfully fly an autonomous eVTOL passenger aircraft. Its air taxi mission is in the experimental phase, but speeds of 100 miles an hour or 160 kilometers an hour can be reached. Safety is prioritized with multiple redundant systems, meaning there is no single point of failure. Like the Jetson 1, a ballistic parachute is also in place. 12 independent rotors, which make up the vertical lift system, have one moving part, the fan. If an issue with one rotor occurs, it is automatically handled, so the flight continues. Range per charge for this model is about 25 miles or 40 kilometers. Another company trying to take charge is Beta Technologies, a startup with the aim to create an elegant electric aviation solution. The US Army recently backed Beta and their ALIA-250 model. The ALIA-250 was made based on experience gained from AVA, Beta's first manned prototype aircraft, and its successful testing. Used for humans or cargo, recharge time is 50 minutes, its range is 250 nm, and its wingspan is 50 feet. Air-cooled and environmentally sealed, battery blocks provide the base of the EPU system structure. Meanwhile, the lift and pusher motors in the wing enable long-distance flights, a unique characteristic. For cargo delivery by UPS, the first use of the ALIA-250 is expected to be in 2024. Floating from one bird to the next, there is also the unconventional, although interesting, eVTOL player, Fractal, a company bringing sustainable mobility to Africa. Founded in 2017, their model Macrobat has a modular design and is constructed using sustainable materials. It is a bird-like eVTOL with tracked feet, a tilting cabin, bird legs, and tilting wings. Holding one passenger, it has cruise speeds up to 112 miles an hour or 180 kilometers an hour and a range of 93 miles or 150 kilometers. Made up of battery packs, two electric motors, and two propellers, Fractal hopes the Macrobat can provide passenger and cargo transportation to inaccessible areas in Africa. However, there is no forecast for when prototype aircraft or serial production will be. If they aren't sweeping you off your feet, here are a few other companies and models we may have wished we'd have remembered in 5 to 10 years' time. Archer Aviation's Maker carries two passengers for a range of up to 60 miles. The Maker is 100 times quieter than a helicopter. Structured using 12 electric motors and rotors, which are powered by six battery packs, safety is at the forefront. In July 2021, Archer announced a partnership with United Airlines, the first partnership of its kind. The maker could be production ready by the end of 2022. From flying helicopters to taxis now, there is also Joby Aviation's S4 passenger taxi. 
The S4 passenger taxi has six electric motors with a range of 150 miles or 250 kilometers. It is a four-person flying taxi and Joby expects certification of it this year. With a market cap of 5.48 billion US dollars and close relations with NASA, Joby and the S4 passenger taxi is definitely one to watch. So, which company will have the biggest impact on human travel? What eVTOL model is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more.